Adam Sandler and his wife Jackie have an absolutely adorable relationship. But sometimes she likes to team up with the other women in his life to make him nervous and whip him into shape. From prenups to growing old together, here's the stunning transformation of Jackie Sandler. Jackie Sandler was born Jacqueline Tytone in 1974 in Coral Springs, Florida. She was one of four kids, as she has one sister and two brothers. Her dad Joseph is a former state legislator who in 1992 made local headlines when his law license was suspended after he was found guilty of unlawful compensation and perjury. That same year, Jackie graduated from Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. Her future husband, meanwhile, had already completed his college education as he graduated from New York University's Tisch School of the Arts in 1988 before joining the cast of Saturday Night Live just a few years later. During her time in high school, Jackie was on the cheerleading squad, and by the time she graduated, she'd already dabbled in modeling. She was even reportedly raking in around $5,000 for each of her photo shoots. Eventually, she decided to branch out and give acting a shot. Jackie Sandler made her big screen debut in 1999's Rob Schneider starring comedy Deuce Bigelow, Male Gigolo. That was also the first movie produced by Happy Madison, her future husband's production company. Jackie plays Sally, a close pal of Deuce's love interest Kate, who has no idea that her well-meaning but misguided friends have hired the titular male prostitute to show her a good time. Jackie made enough of an impression on Schneider that he convinced Adam to cast her as a waitress in Big Daddy, which also came out in 1999. Looking back, Adam has made it clear that he immediately knew Jackie was the one. As he put it on Instagram in 2023 on the occasion of their 20th anniversary, my heart has been yours since the first second I saw you, and I love and appreciate your devoted soul more and more each day." And he also declared on Instagram back in 2020, "...22 years ago today we locked eyes and fell deep. Look forward to the next 22, young lady." You guys, I'm getting married! I'm getting married! <laughs> in 2000, the South Florida Sun Sentinel reported that Adam and Jackie Sandler had started to discuss the possibility of getting married, though there was a hitch. Apparently, Jackie didn't want to sign a prenuptial agreement. However, Adam's publicist denied that the couple were fighting over what would happen to their finances and property should they ever get divorced in the future. Jackie's father, Joseph, also made the case that his daughter had no reason to marry Adam solely for his money. As he put it, Jackie has a career of her own now, and even if they're not married, I'm hoping they can still have a professional relationship. Despite what the rumor mill was stirring up, it's clear that Adam and Jackie are a team. And after being married for as long as they've been, Jackie can now triumphantly point to their stacks of anniversary cards as evidence that she was in it for her husband and not his money. During the same year that the prenup rumors were swirling, Jackie appeared in Adam's movie Little Nicky. She played Jenna, an angel who helps her celestial sister greet the title character when he visits heaven. God's so smart, like Jeopardy smart. After Adam Sandler popped the question in 2002, his bride-to-be made it clear just how devoted she was by converting to Judaism. When Adam appeared on The Howard Stern Show in 2015, he explained why it's important to him that he and his family continue to honor their heritage, as he admitted, "...I'm not crazy religious, but I'm proud of being a Jew, and that's what I am." Jackie has been a part of that pride on the big screen by voicing the character of Jennifer in the 2002 animated movie Eight Crazy Nights, which takes place during the Hanukkah season. While Jackie loved her future husband so much that she was willing to change her religion for him, Adam was actually rather nervous about popping the question. As he revealed to Diane Sawyer during a 2002 Good Morning America interview, I played basketball that afternoon, trying to calm down, and then I was driving. I was saying the stuff out loud and trying to, you know, make sure I hit all of the right things so she would remember nice stuff." He later learned that his proposal was approved by Jackie's mother and grandmother when she called them to share the happy news, as they celebrated quite loudly. As for his own verdict of his performance, he admitted, "...I did all right." Adam Sandler has the photos to prove that he didn't get married in his signature casual outfit of baggy basketball shorts, oversized t-shirt, and tube socks. Instead, he wore a tuxedo and yarmulke for the traditional Jewish ceremony at Dick Clark's Malibu Estate. He also even dressed his pet bulldog Meatball up in a miniature suit and matching yarmulke for the occasion, as the dapper dog performed the role of ring bearer. Jackie Sandler looked stunning in an ivory gown with spaghetti straps, a sweetheart neckline, and an A-line skirt. Adam even serenaded his bride during the wedding with a new version of his beloved love song from the wedding singer, Grow Old With You. 
I, I wrote all the words for Jackie, yes. I like but, the, the wedding singer. This wasn't the only musical surprise in store for Jackie when she became Mrs. Sandler. Late rock star Tom Petty was in a car accident on the Pacific Coast Highway that night, and he then crashed the wedding to use their phone. Other famous attendees at the ceremony included Rodney Dangerfield, Jack Nicholson, and Jennifer Aniston. In 2006, Adam and Jackie Sandler welcomed their first child, Sadie Madison. And no, her middle name wasn't inspired by the goof-off character who went back to school that her dad played in a certain beloved comedy movie that came out in 1995. Oh, back to school, back to school, to prove to dad that I'm not a fool. As Adam explained to BlackFilm.com in 2006, My wife wanted Madison for her grandfather and to have some New York in the kid. While Adam's not as much of a slacker as Billy Madison is, he has confessed to being pretty hands-off when it came to the messier aspects of caring for a baby. When he was asked if he ever gave Jackie a break from diaper duty, he responded, I see that go on. I'm cheering on my wife. I'd say, way to go. Can I have some milk? Based on what Adam has said in interviews, it sounds like Jackie didn't get help with much of anything when they were adjusting to life as first-time parents. As Adam admitted to Access Hollywood in 2006, if she asks me to go get that ointment, I run out and get it, but that's about it, man. He's clearly just not a fan of chores in general. During a 2015 appearance on The Dan Patrick Show, he revealed that Jackie stopped asking him to help out with the housework pretty early in their marriage. When Jackie Sandler learned that she was expecting again in 2008, she enlisted her older daughter's help to break the news to her husband that he was about to become an even bigger daddy. As he recounted during an appearance on Live with Regis and Kelly, he arrived home one night to discover that Sadie had been allowed to stay up late so that she could surprise him with a very special gift. He recalled, I opened it up and it was one of those pregnancy tests and I was like, wow. During Jackie's second pregnancy, Adam was busy making the rounds to promote You Don't Mess with the Zohan. That also marked the first time that Sadie Sandler appeared in one of her dad's movies and her mom joined her on screen. They were unofficially uncredited, though they're listed on IMDb as Girl Riding on Goat and Mom in Line for Goat Ride. Around that same time, Adam also stopped by The Tonight Show, where he revealed that Jackie was experiencing some pretty gnarly morning sickness that had Sadie pretty worried. As Adam recalled, I try to relax my daughter just saying, Mommy's not like bad sick. She just has something growing in her that's eventually gonna shoot out her vagina and take half your toys. When Sandler daughter number two arrived, her parents named her Sunny Madeline, thereby giving her the same initials as her sister. When Adam Sandler starred alongside Katie Holmes in 2011's Jack and Jill, it was one of the rare instances when Jackie Sandler didn't cameo in her husband's movie. During an appearance on The Late Show, Adam recounted an awkward moment when Holmes' then-husband Tom Cruise told him that he found it bizarre that his wife was playing Sandler's wife. Adam then explained why his own spouse wasn't jealous over the situation, while also noting, Anything I do with your wife in the movie, you, you can do with my wife in real life. When Jackie heard this, she wanted her husband to make some last-minute screenplay changes. As Adam recalled, Every morning I go to the set and hear my wife go, please do a love scene. According to Adam, Jackie often gives him feedback on his romantic scenes. And when it's negative, it's not because she feels like he's too into his leading ladies. Jackie had a small part in 2014's Blended, so she was on set when Adam had to kiss his co-star Drew Barrymore. As Adam revealed on The Ellen DeGeneres Show, My wife loves Drew so much that she encourages me. There's no jealousy at all. She's just like, get in there. According to Barrymore, Jackie also gave Adam a stern talking to when one of his lip locks wasn't sufficiently passionate. 2017 saw the release of the Netflix comedy Sandy Wexler, in which Adam Sandler played the titular talent manager, and Jackie Sandler played one of his clients. Adam had another movie to promote that same year, and while Jackie didn't also cameo in that one, she had a good reason to be really excited about it. That film was the Meyerowitz stories, new and selected, and this wasn't one of Adam's typical frivolous flicks. Instead, it was directed by Noah Baumbach and featured co-stars like Dustin Hoffman, Emma Thompson, Ben Stiller, and Sigourney Weaver as herself. Adam's foray into the more serious side of Hollywood earned him a ticket to the Cannes Film Festival, and Jackie couldn't wait to ascend the iconic red stairs at the Palais des Festivals alongside her husband. However, she was concerned that she might trip and fall. We had like a month before we went, and every staircase 
we would practice. When the big moment came, a grouchy French official tried to keep Jackie at the bottom of the stairs while the movie's cast ascended them together. Adam begged the official to let him return to Jackie so that she could walk up with him, but alas, his pleas were to no avail. Then Dustin Hoffman told Adam to get his wife, which prompted the official to relent, and Jackie finally got her moment on the stairs. She was like, oh my god, this is wonderful, this is like better than our honeymoon, and then uh... <laughs> While Adam Sandler successfully ventured beyond the artistic confines of his usual juvenile comedies, for the likes of the Meyerowitz stories and 2002's Punch Drunk Love, he hasn't always been so eager to go in that direction. Case in point, the time he was hesitant about starring in the anxiety-inducing 2019 drama Uncut Gems. As he admitted on The Dan Patrick Show, he was initially terrified when he received the script. But when his wife read it, she knew that her husband couldn't turn this role down. She, she just calmed me down and said, you can do all this stuff and commit to it and jump in and blah, blah, blah. As it turns out, Jackie often helps Adam decide what projects to take on. As he explained on The Ellen DeGeneres Show, she gives me strength and courage to jump into this stuff. In Uncut Gems, Adam played a jeweler named Howard Ratner, and he was given a diamond necklace embellished with the character's name. Jackie then started wearing it to red carpet events ahead of the movie's release. She, she looks cute in it. I like it. Jackie's career advice for her husband doesn't stop there. His Netflix movie, Murder Mystery, came out the same year as Uncut Gems, and it co-starred Jennifer Aniston. As Adam recounted during an appearance on Conan, Jackie was critical of his kissing scenes with his leading lady because she wanted him to go even harder, and her attitude is apparently rubbing off on the kids. My two daughters are like, come on, be nice to Jennifer, kiss her good. And one of Jackie Sandler's brothers is Chris Titone, and he has one big thing in common with his sister, as he often works with his brother-in-law. This includes co-writing the screenplay for the 2022 Netflix movie Home Team, which is about former New Orleans Saints coach Sean Payton. Titone is married to Sean's daughter, sports broadcaster Megan Payton, and it was her report about Sean coaching his son's youth football team that served as the inspiration for the movie. Adam helped his brother-in-law bring his vision to life by producing Home Team through Happy Madison. The movie stars Kevin James as Sean, and Chris and Jackie both have small roles. Chris has also appeared alongside his sister in a number of other comedies, several of which starred or were produced by his brother-in-law, including the 2020 Netflix comedy The Wrong Missy. In The Wrong Missy, Jackie had a fairly big role as the movie's villain Jess, aka the Barracuda, and she even got to perform a choreographed dance routine. She and David Spade played co-workers competing for a big promotion, but off-screen, the Sandlers had nothing but love for her on-screen nemesis. As she tweeted at Spade during a watch party, My husband told me to tell you that you look extremely cute. She also tweeted a few behind-the-scenes photos, including one of Titone with his nieces. After appearing alongside Jennifer Aniston in Just Go With It and Murder Mystery, Jackie Sandler became one of the Friends alum's biggest fans. She just loves everything. Jennifer has to say about anything. This love of what Aniston has to say includes her recommendations for what Adam Sandler can do to improve his health. In 2021, he told The Hollywood Reporter that both of these ladies had ganged up on him for his own good. As he put it, they want me to stretch more, eventually be able to touch my toes, which I'm about nine inches away from. During a 2023 appearance on The Tonight Show, Aniston revealed that she gives Adam herbal remedies and green smoothies, though she just can't seem to get him on a health kick that sticks. And Jackie's like, thanks, it lasted about a minute. According to Adam, these two women in his life really enjoy talking to each other. As he divulged to Extra, one of their favorite topics of conversation is Jackie's complaints about her husband's behavior. One time during a party at Aniston's house, he gave them plenty of time to gossip about him. As he recounted during an appearance on Live with Kelly and Ryan, the ladies were having so much fun that he stretched out on the floor inside her closet because he couldn't get Jackie to leave when he was ready to. <laughs> By the way, I'm sure that happened. <laughs> when Adam Sandler makes his productions a family affair, which is pretty much all the time nowadays, the casting can sometimes feel a bit awkward. This was certainly the case with the 2023 Netflix movie, You Were So Not Invited to My Bat Mitzvah, which Adam produced, as he gave his younger daughter Sunny the lead role of Stacy. In the movie, Stacy is looking forward to celebrating her coming-of-age ceremony with her best friend Lydia, until Lydia stabs her in the back by dating the guy she's been crushing on. Adam plays Stacy's dad in the movie, and Sadie Sandler plays her sister Ronnie. Some reviews found this familial casting to be a brilliant move, as it made the siblings' scenes together feel authentic. 
But for the role of his wife, Adam actually broke up his family unit by casting his Uncut Gems co-star, Adina Menzel. Jackie Sandler wasn't completely left out in the cold, though, as she played the mother of Stacy's backstabbing bestie. While the Sandler family was filming the movie together in Canada, Adam spoke to AARP about how his parenting style differs from that of his wife. He's always trying to introduce his daughters to things he's passionate about, such as his favorite music. As he admitted, My wife and the shrinks say I should just let stuff happen instead of getting so involved. But they are at least on the same page about certain things, as he also shared, My wife and I go to sleep talking about the girls. They have so much ahead. In a 2023 interview with Entertainment Tonight, Jackie Sandler shared one of the secrets to her marriage as she revealed, He's always trying to make me laugh, and I'm always trying to make him laugh, so it works out. Jackie doesn't make public comments about her husband very often, but when she helped honor him during his Mark Twain Prize for American Humor Awards ceremony at the Kennedy Center in 2023, it was plenty apparent that she shares a sense of humor. As she revealed to the crowd, Yes, he's just as funny in real life as he is in the movies, and he's just as good in bed as you've all imagined for so long. Adam, whether you're awake or not, it's always fantastic. After almost a quarter of a century together, Adam Sandler still makes sure to compliment his wife regularly. For one thing, he's especially fond of her legs. But the Sandlers haven't just been together so long because they still find each other attractive and can still laugh together, as their connection is much deeper than that. Being encouraging and attentive spouses has helped keep their bond strong, and then there's the fact that they want to grow old with each other. As Adam explained to AARP, we try our best, that's all, and we don't ever think of not being together. We always talk about our future together. 